day today we're working out the 17 and under WTBA team and there's a lot of variance in age here. Well, we like to do something to warm our players up and get their legs under them. Now you see a lot of teams in high school run this weave. Now what we're going to do is show you how we think it's a good one of the counter defensive moves here is to trap it. And now we're just going to do something real simple and involves all five defensive players. When she starts here, to hand off here. Okay, this is your signal. All right, go. You're going to jump right out here and take the ball. All right, go. Hand it off there. Hand it off there. And you're going to jump right here. And y'all are going to trap here. Okay, and you're going to come right up here and take her. Okay, you got there and you're in the middle right here. Everybody got that? It's called a hot trap. It's going to be real quick on the exchange. Here we go. Ready? All right, jump out there, Andy. Get out there. I want to get out there. Right there. Pressure. Right there. Pressure. Right there. Now stop. If you're back here and they start dribbling to one side or the other, you start cheating up and get ready to intercept in front of the girl, okay? Right. Here we go. Nice job. That's beautiful. Perfect. I want you to make Morgan think she can do a split here. Because when she does, you just back tip her. Or you back tip the ball to her. We're going on the break. Got it? You don't want to get in a game and somebody run the weave on you and us attack it like we did before. Okay, you can't. You have to take chances here. It's got to be quick. So as soon as that point guard starts to the wing over here, these guys back here have got to be cheating to the inside. Otherwise, we put all the pressure on our front people to make plays. It doesn't work like that. Everybody has to work as a unit here. You work as a unit, you're going to get turnover after turnover. Zero, zero. Here we go. <laughs> grab it, grab it. Grab the ball. Trap it, trap it. Go grab, go trap. There you go. Go it up to her now. Now, now see, nobody got hurt there, right? Okay. Now you can step and throw it right out here, and you get across that baseline quick, and you go right across here. See how that's working? Now go to your baseline player as much as you can, because now she's got all the vision. See, she can see one, two, three. She can see you. You two switch over there. Do a switch. So you get movement. Okay? Now skip the ball across there and get across, get, get across the baseline. Now skip it here. And Callie, you got to get across quick. All right, go. Skip it. Go. Now look at what we have. See how the thing is opening inside? We're getting open shots in here, but we're, we're impatient. We want to shoot it out here. And you can get easy shots down here. A great move for Maddie here is throw it right here. All right, now, I want you to make the pass to her, and you shot fake. Take her to the bucket. All right, go. All right, go. Come get her. Go get her. And she's going to go there. Now, now, can Maddie do that pretty good? She's really good at that, so we got to train that. Y'all got to give her that, okay? It's going to make us better. See, when we launch these threes out here, and we shoot 25 of them, and we shoot seven shots in the lane, it ought to be the other way around, okay? If the ball goes there, look how wide open she is. But y'all have to start thinking like inside players instead of like outside players, okay? That's what I want to see right there, Callie. Here's my advice. Reduce your recklessness. Reduce a little bit. That's what smart players do as they move up. And when they get into college, the coaches say, you can't do this. I don't want you doing that. Don't make that move. Make this one. Okay? And nobody's going to drive when you can drive in here and take an easy shot. Okay? So let's work on that. Let's work on getting the best shot. Everybody say, best shot. Best, best shot. shot. All right.